Hello everybody, this is Denise in the Little Sewing Room back with a quick video update on my ethnic fabric challenge. If you saw my last video where I did the peplum skirt out of the ethnic fabric and told you I was going to make a pair of slacks out of the remainder of the fabric and try to squeeze out another skirt, well, success, I was able to do it. So in this short video, i like to let you see the slacks that I made and the skirt. It's not a tutorial, it's just a video on the creative process uh, and how it evolved so I got the results that I desired. So just a little bit of fabric, three different looks, and I'm going to call this one a success. So let me get started and show you what was done. So here are the slacks that I was able to create out of the fabric. And as you can see, I've had the fabric, uh, the, the print running up and down the pant leg. This is a pair of pants for a full figured lady. So some of the tricks that I use is one, I did a top stitching on the crease so we can always maintain that center crease. And I put in a lap zipper instead of an invisible zipper. I put in a lap zipper and I put in a nine inch long zipper. Standard zipper length when you're sewing is usually about seven inches, but I go with a nine inch for my full figured ladies because a lot of full figured women have uh, made be ample in the hip area but small in the waist but well, this way I can make the waist nice and small and still give them enough room to easily get into their uh, skirt or slacks. This is fully lined with a very nice tree coat to almost act like a shaper and my guest really likes it and it's not done until it's got its label. I also put the zipper on the side, no pockets or anything, nothing to add dimension or a volume to the hip area. Uh, the darts are kept shallow in the front. With this fabric you barely see it. The darts are kept shallow in the front and fuller in the back to here again to uh, accommodate the full figure. Uh, the guest loves it. It's a great, great fit and everything and a different use totally different look from the peplum skirt which had the pattern going around the skirt now let me show you the final product that was made from this now for the final product that i've made in this challenge which is a full durndale skirt and it was a challenge because there was not much fabric left and i had to use it any way i could so so let me give you some, an overview of the details that I had to go through to piece this skirt together. From here to the opposite side of the front is a panel I had to put in so I could get enough width for the skirt. And I'm going to bring it up closer to the camera. Using the flat fail stitch, I pieced together two back pieces so that I could get enough length for the skirt. Turn around to the back and lay it down here. This seam right here, this little added yoke, well, since I cut the fabric to make another skirt and also to make the pair of slacks, I had irregular coats cut in my fabric so I pieced together a yoke so I could make two square rectangles for the back seam. That was not the only place that I had to make an area of creative design. The waistband. And I'm going to try to get as close as I can so you can see the matching the uh, stitching. Right here is one seam that I pieced together. A second and a third. All that to get this lovely Durndale skirt. That's my three garment challenge with the ethnic fabric and a different look all with the same print. Be on the lookout for the next video which will show uh, the models. So this is Denise in the Little Sewing Room saying thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. And to my special friend out there, hey John, how you doing?